A very warm welcome to Merrifield and our college information video. Uh, just nice to have you with us and uh, unfortunately we can't have our normal Merrifield uh, college information evening uh, due to the COVID restrictions uh, in our hall. But we really hope that this visual presentation uh, will give you a good feel for, for Merrifield and all that our college offers. A particular welcome to our prospective parents and students. Uh, thank you for your interest in the school. And I also welcome our grade sevens uh, from Merrifield and uh, parents as well, Merrifield parents, uh, as you get a good feel for the, the college and what exactly to expect uh, in uh, the college years starting next year in 2022. So nice to have you all uh, as part of this, this video. Just to introduce myself, I'm Guy Hartley, the uh, executive head and head of the college at Merrifield. Uh, in my executive head role, I look over effectively three schools in one, and uh, that's a primary school, a pre-primary school, and a college, all on one campus, and I look at the uh, integrated strategic development of the school in this regard. But my main day-to-day -day role is as the head of uh, the college, uh, and it certainly has been a privilege for me over the last 15 years uh, to lead the college, uh, to see the way the college has developed and uh, yeah, see it to be a really thriving and flourishing place. Uh, and I hope you'll really capture a, a sense of that through this presentation, that you'll see a school that is, is really exciting, new, emergent, modern uh, in all that we are doing. We have certainly come a long way in a short space of time, and uh, we still have many plans and ambitions uh, ahead of us. The school is now 24 years old, uh, having started in 1997 just with a handful of students, or well, about 50 students in our prep years. And now we are a school of 757 students right across the board from grade triple naught all the way to grade 12. In the college, uh, we now have um, three classes per grade right across the five grades in the college, grade eight to 12. And you'll see that uh, the, we have a capacity of 24 students um, in each class. So we won't go beyond 24 in a class, but we do have three classes per grade in the college. Uh, that gives us a total capacity of 360 students. And uh, at the moment in 2021, we have an actual of 340 students. Now in the pre-primary and the prep, we only have two classes per grade. So what this does mean at the grade eight level is that uh, a whole class opens up for students from outside of Merrifield. So there are at least 24 places available at grade eight uh, for students external to Merrifield. And then there are some places still available at grade nine, 10 and 11 for next year. So this is our school uh, in the college. Uh, we've certainly grown uh, greatly over the years. Our infrastructure has developed a huge amount. And we are now today seen as the leading independent school in East London. And it's an accolade we certainly are proud of, but at the same time, uh, we are certainly not complacent about. And we are looking to extend the school and our infrastructure going forward in all sorts of ways into the future. We certainly believe we have made our mark in East London and uh, certainly our reputation is grounded on uh, our quality educational offering centered around the IEB curriculum. So I'm going to take you now uh, to our uh, vision and mission, and I think this will give you a good idea uh, of what we value at the school, what we stand for, and what we live out daily. Um, our vision is to be a dynamic, globally competitive, independent school rooted in the Eastern Cape. That word dynamic means a lot to us. We're a small enough school to really be uh, close to assessing you know, latest brain research, neuroscience, uh, to look at new teaching methodologies, new technologies. And so we seek to be inventive, uh, innovative, and cutting edge in what we're doing. We seek to be globally competitive. We uh, want to be world-class in our academics, and I believe we are certainly on that track in terms of uh, the benchmarking in, in certain of our, our, our tests that are done. But we do seek to uh, prepare our students to transfer smoothly and easily to top uh, tertiary institutions throughout South Africa 
and beyond that, uh, the broader world as well. And whilst having this global outlook, we are also very focused on being rooted in the Eastern Cape in the sense that uh, we have a really uh, keen local interest in where we are and our surrounding community and committed to our, our surrounding communities and contributing to our region and committed also to a non-discriminatory, uh, non-racial South Africa. So that's our vision that certainly encapsulates uh, a lot. Our mission and probably one of our key points is to offer a rigorous ag ac uh, academic environment, uh, a learning center of exceptional quality. That's really what our fundamental focus is, uh, offering a quality education uh, at Maryfield. We seek to provide personal attention and commit to small classes. We won't go beyond that 24 per class. And this allows us to really offer that personal uh, close attention. Individuals are important for us. That we value the individuality and uh, distinctive learning styles of every child. Uh, so we have a variety of approaches in our teaching methodologies uh, to suit the different learning styles of our students. And as I say, uh, individuals are important to us. We look at remedial help for individuals as well as extension work uh, for our strong students. Holistic education also is vital for us. We educate the whole child where academic studies, sports, spirituality, culture and community service are vital components of a rounded education. We seek to develop broad-minded students and uh, yeah, those students that are really rounded and grounded at the end of the day in a whole variety of activities. We encourage the development of individual curiosity, personal creativity and an entrepreneurial spirit. These are very much 21st century skills that we seek to promote, creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, uh, and along with that, the technologies that go along with 21st century skills, all very important parts of our approach. We seek to develop mutually respectful relations uh, based on professionalism, quality education, and uh, mutual trust. This is crucial to our foundational uh, approach in that we have strong student-student uh, student relations and as well as strong uh, teacher-student relations. This is very much the foundation stone of uh, our educational system here at Maryfield. We seek to prepare students also for a culturally diverse democratic society. And here we really value diversity and difference. Uh, we see it as something really beneficial uh, and, and bringing rich uh, enhancement to our school. So we are really seeking to uh, develop citizens who are in touch with our South African constitution and uh, at the end of the day, preparing students for a heterogeneous world and not a homogenous one. We encourage a vibrant leadership that is decisive, whilst at the same time being compassionate, democratic and tolerant. And this is through our SRC, through our President's Awards program. Uh, it's very much a consensus building type of leadership that is compassionate, uh, democratic, and uh, consultative and cooperative in uh, nature. We nurture an environmental awareness, uh, given that we are situated in a country environment. We have this beautiful country treed environment uh, that is so conducive to learning, and so environmental awareness is pivotal to our curriculum bringing in ecological studies to our um, curriculum as well. We offer a single educational experience on one campus from pre-primary to matriculation. It really is um, a, a special, unique environment that we have here. And we seek to nurture a family-orientated community uh, environment where social conscience and responsible social interactions are cultivated. So a sense of community is really important to us, both here amongst our uh, students and, and parents and, and staff, but at the same time, uh, developing uh, a sense of community amongst our surrounding uh, neighbors and communities as we develop a, a strong social conscience as a community here at Maryfield. So these are the things that define us uh, in our vision and mission. And I think you'll see that uh, played out as uh, I, go ahead with this presentation. 
I'm going to first firstly focus on our college academics. And uh, as I've said, that is such an important part of who we are, offering a quality education at Merrifield. The GET phase uh, is what I'll first look at. This is the general education and training phase, also known as the senior phase. And of course, schooling at uh, present is divided into these three years uh, of and uh, phases. Um, and this is the grade seven, eight, and nine phase I'll be focusing on. Uh, I know we do have a lot of grade sevens watching this video, so I'm going to focus on uh, grade eight as an entry point into our college. I think the first thing to notice here uh, as grade sevens is that you are part of a, an educational phase already. So there's not this major disjuncture between primary and high school uh, that we see kind of in practice. But in fact, seven, eight, and nine very much hang together. So if you look at uh, the learning areas that we offer in grade eight, you'll recognize all of these, the languages, uh, English, Afrikaans, Sisi Kosa, uh, offered natural sciences, design technology, life orientation, maths, history, geography. You might know this as social sciences if they're grouped together, EMS, and then arts and culture. So these are very much the subjects you've been uh, dealing with at the grade seven level, and uh, we'll focus the, on these also at grade eight and nine level as part of the GET phase. Now at Merrifield, and uh, I'm speaking mainly to our grade seven uh, Merrifielders now, uh, we aim to really uh, hang this phase together as a whole. So as a result, you have been placed in the college learning areas um, already at grade seven. You've been receiving uh, high college teachers teaching you uh, subject specialist teaching and training and they're very familiar with the subject assess assessment guidelines uh, at the high school level so already you are being drawn into uh, the college and grade eight and nine and so there really should be a natural transition for you uh, into uh, high school it shouldn't be seen as daunting in any way you're very much part of the college uh, already and and uh, the, the teaching that goes along with it. But I think for those coming outside the school as well, it's helpful to know you're very much part and parcel and, tr and on track uh, in terms of a learning phase. Now at grade nine and uh, eight level, uh, our students get involved in a whole range of competitions, be it SACI, uh, English competitions, the Olympiads, but then also our international benchmarking tests. Uh, these are written at the grade nine level. They are uh, set by uh, the ASA, an Australian-based company, and they standardized English and maths tests that are written across the world. Uh, and this gives us an indication of where our students uh, are performing. Uh, if you look right on the left, you'll see all those black dots. Those are representing our students at the grade nine level. And as a whole, um, they achieve in terms of that green uh, shaded area and you'll see the pattern there that we are above the south african norm as well as the international norm um, this is very pleasing for us to see that you know we are, are really standing out in our, our region and and uh, part of the world i think it's important to note that the south african um, results are based on your top independent schools who are writing these um, international benchmarking tests. Uh, the government schools in South Africa don't write these tests, and that's why the South African results are above the international norm. But as you can see, we're performing really well. Um, it's just the Asian Pacific schools that we need to catch up on, so we can't be too complacent. But year on year, this is the pattern that we've been seeing from our students uh, above the South African top independent schools and above the international norm. And then we also have some real outliers, as you can see, those uh, little dots right at the top, um, performing in the top one to 5% globally. And this really gives us reason to indicate that we are uh, producing a world-class education at Merrifield. If we look at the maths test, also written at grade nine level, a similar pattern, we're above the South African norm, that's the top independent schools and above the international norm. But again, the top, performing schools in the world in the Asian Pacific. That's where we still have some uh, work to do. Uh, they're performing at an incredible level. Um, but again, we do have students who are outliers 
and achieving in those top one to five percent uh, globally. All right, the education at grade eight and nine level is is uh, based on on some of the CAPS uh, documents, but we're not bound by these CAP documents, and so we're able to develop our curriculum in all sorts of exciting and interesting ways. And you might have seen this article recently in the Daily Dispatch, where in our design and technology classes, we are introducing drone technology and uh, teaching coding through our iPads and through uh, the use of drones. So flying drones, having coded them in the first place uh, via the iPads. Uh, and this is a whole curriculum that is developed in partnership with uh, Inspire Africa. We have made a collaboration there. And uh, we've also invested in 3D printers, which allows us to teach 3D printing and the benefits thereof uh, in the modern world. We obviously have an eye on uh, the technologies in the workplace of today. And as such, bringing in uh, these important themes of robotics and coding, uh, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, uh, advanced automation, these are key elements of the future and that are already with us in our workplaces and vital that our students are connecting with these relevant themes. So we certainly have scope to develop our curriculum at grade eight and nine level. For example, uh, we've introduced um, the book Born a Crime by uh, Trevor Noah uh, to teach themes around race, around diversity, uh, social justice, connecting with our, our blighted past and what that means for the future. Um, and so we really have uh, freedom to develop our syllabus uh, in a variety of ways at grade eight and nine level as our students develop uh, critical thinking skills that will serve them well as they move into the grade 10 to 12 level. I've mentioned technology is key for us. Uh, our students have been on an iPad program for the last six years, uh, one of the few high schools in our region uh, to be fully connected with Wi-Fi and internet into the classrooms. Uh, it's obviously controlled through a firewall, uh, but very important for the development of our students to be connected with uh, advanced technologies. And uh, they use the iPad in all sorts of ways uh, with a, a number of apps and software uh, that helps enhance our teaching and learning uh, in many ways indeed. So that's our grade eight and nine teaching as part of the GET phase. And then our students move into the FET phase, the further education and training phase uh, at grades 10 to 12 level. That culminates in the writing of the uh, National Senior Certificate in grade 12, uh, administered by the Independent Examinations Board. Uh, we will have students entering at this level, uh, and some of you will be watching uh, interested in this phase in particular. This is when subject choices get made at grade 10 level. Uh, and this is our offering. We do help our grade nine students uh, to make uh, informed choices by writing uh, the various personality and interest tests. They also helped in LO to know their strengths and interests and understand you know, future career paths on the basis of what subjects they choose. So this is our subject choice at Merrifield that takes place. There are four main subjects that uh, have to be taken, either maths or maths literacy. They have to do a home language. In our case, it's English. Uh, in terms of first additional languages, the choices for our South African students are Afrikaans or Isiklosa. For our MBSA German students, they may choose German, uh, French. Um, the fourth subject there is life orientation. And then the actual elective subject choices at grade 10 level. Uh, and here our students uh, will take one subject on each of these lines. So they have the choice on the first line of taking physical sciences, business studies, history, life sciences, or drama. Then on the second line, they need to take another subject, either physical sciences, information technology, CAT, which is the computer applications technology, uh, history, or geography. And then on the third line, they have the choice of life sciences, geography, accounting, or visual arts. You'll see some subjects are repeated on different lines that allows for you know, uh, more variety in terms of choice. But it's effectively one subject per line. 
We do also offer advanced program maths as an eight subject uh, for those interested in engineering uh, and science, the sciences, maths related subjects at the university. Uh, this is a separate subject taken on a Tuesday afternoon uh, with a separate payment. And uh, we do run one of the uh, largest AP maths programs in East London with a number of students from other schools attending as well. Um, it is offered by our Merrifield teachers at grade 9 to 12 level. Uh, that's in collaboration, in partnership with Anneli Abers. So these are the subject choices at the grade 10 level that get carried through to grade 12. Now, very importantly, is that our final assessments at grade 12 level, uh, the NSC, uh, is administered by the Independent Examinations Board. So we don't fall under the provincial governments. Uh, our students do come out with an NSC, just like the government students come out with an NSC, but ours is administered by the IEB and not the provincial department. So this means uh, we fall under a small professional body based in Johannesburg that administer uh, the independent schools grade 12 assessments. Um, it's a small professional body, as I say, that's able to really control things uh, in a very close way and uh, with many high standards and a great deal of professionalism. And this is certainly what we value from the IEB. Our curriculum derives from the national curriculum statement as does the government's, but it is slightly um, well look, looked at in a different uh, way and uh, the approach is different. It certainly is a more demanding curriculum and it focuses on uh, skills, focus on, on um, the development of analytical thinking skills, the higher order cognitive thinking skills. Uh, so about it's about interpretation, application, not so much based on a content content-laden curriculum that you know, tends to focus on rote learning and parrot fashion learning. This is very much about application uh, and understanding concepts and being able to apply them in uh, a variety of different contexts. What we find is that this prepares our students very well uh, for tertiary training. Um, we find that our students fly at university, the throughput rates of IEB students is very high. They don't get stuck at the end of first year. They move through the system, they graduate. Many of them go on to do postgraduate studies and uh, many move into professions and do excellent work uh, as evidenced by our alumni. So this is the value of, of an IEB education, we believe uh, really providing incredibly strong foundations for our students as they enter tertiary training. Our matric results have been uh, excellent over the years. We've written uh, the uh, IAB exams over the last 18 years, and you'll see we have uh, very high matric pass rates, 100% uh, here you'll see. And uh, probably more important for us are the uh, percentage exemption rates, and you'll see those are also very high over the years. Uh, they sort of average above 90%. And if you look at the last four years, you'll see that our matric exemption rate uh, has been at 100% over three of those years. Very important is also the number of distinctions. We've really looked to stretch our students to perform at their very best levels. You can see over the last few years how those uh, distinction levels have really grown in number. We really recognize that education is not simply about marks and especially that's the case at Merrifield. However, in the grade 12 year, marks are important. Um, the results get you into universities and the particular faculties. Uh, they get you into scholarship programs, um, into residences, uh, and we just know how competitive it is out there uh, to get into universities. So as a result, we really stretch our students, extend them as far as we possibly can to achieve at their very best levels. And uh, we've been thrilled, especially with uh, our last year's results, the 2020 results, such a difficult year uh, when our students had to go online. Uh, thankfully, we were able to move very quickly onto online learning with the use of our iPads. And uh, we were able to give our matrix the support that they needed um, to really produce uh, top results. And I 
can say we, we can't be more thrilled uh, over all the years to see them uh, produce some of our best results that, that rank with you know uh, some of our highest performing years. Um, so it did go say a lot about our use of technology as well, that we were able to uh, support our students uh, once in lockdown with online learning and not lose any curriculum time. So those are our results uh, over the years, again, performing at a very high level in relation to some of the top uh, independent schools across the country. Some of those that have been, you know, really established for many years and uh, large independent schools. So this is our performance from 2020 class. And again, very proud of them across the board with that 100% pass rate and 100% bachelor degree pass rate. Over the years, we've also had consistently students perform in uh, the top echelons of the IAB performers. Uh, the top accolade for an IAB performer is to be on the Outstanding Achievers list. And we were thrilled again to have Sarah McCausland represented there. She was in fact the only um, high school student from the Eastern Cape to be listed on the uh, Outstanding Achievers list, effectively making her the top achiever in the Eastern Cape in 2020. And as I say, over the years, we've had students consistently uh, being represented on this Outstanding Achievers list. Our education at grade 10 to 12 level goes beyond the classroom walls and we involve our students again in all sorts of uh, different competitions. Uh, whether they be SACI, Olympiads, this is the bridge building uh, and water network competitions, the SAISA competitions. We've had students win the regionals and go on, in fact, even to win uh, bridge building at the national levels. Uh, in terms of IEB, um, other competitions, there are thinking skills tests, uh, IEBT maths tests. We've had students perform in the top 1%. And perhaps our best result uh, our most outstanding result of all was Sarah Taylor winning the National De Beers English Olympiad, uh, where we have, you know, both the government schools and the top independent schools uh, taking part in that. Uh, so really, uh, some fine performances from our students over the years. Our students are also taken to science festivals, excursions to extend their learning. Um, and much of that is also hands-on learning as well and very practical. Uh, we really value that type of learning, uh, experiential, engaging learning, uh, as really being very many, meaningful to our students. This happens in our art classes as well. Um, we're very pleased to be able to offer on-site art classes. We're one of the few schools that does offer this in the region. Um, and it's been one of our strengths, our visual arts classes. Our students have performed incredibly well at matric level, and they use a variety of me media, not just drawing uh, and painting, uh, but also usually the use of sculpture, uh, graphic design, computers and computer graphics. So a whole variety of uh, you know, approaches for our individual students and their individual interests. And certainly the students become the center of the learning process uh, in the IAB approach. And I think this is, given our smaller numbers, most conducive uh, in, in our classes that are small. So here we can see the hands-on learning, the practical learning that takes place. And uh, when it comes to the sciences, you'll see every student does have a microscope. Um, the teacher is not the one who just demonstrates, but actually becomes the facilitator rather which with each of our students um, doing the experiments themselves. And again, this is such good learning, uh, hands-on, experiential, engaging learning for our students. And I think this really distinguishes us in our approach. Uh, we really want to be modern, we want to be engaging uh, and, and rigorous, uh, and as such, develop the higher order cognitive thinking skills that really prepare our school students well uh, for tertiary training. So that's the, our academics and obviously our key focus at Merrifield. But at, beyond uh, the walls of the classroom, obviously we value uh, sport and cultural activities as developing our students as well. 
and uh, certainly the development of the head, heart and hands is all important to us uh, for, to, at the end of the day, produce rounded uh, students of character. So sport is something that really has come on in leaps and bounds at Merrifield, uh, so much so that we have developed an entire sports complex uh, across from our dam and across from our academic um, uh, campus. So today we have sports fields uh, for our soccer players, our hockey players, um, the clubhouse, and we are in the process of developing more netball courts and uh, cricket nets and tennis courts for our students. That will be one of our projects this year. Um, the key project was our AstroTurf development, and that was the anchor project uh, of our sports complex that has really taken our hockey to another level altogether. We certainly do pride ourselves on our diverse offering of sport. Uh, there are many opportunities for our students as, an, as a small school. Uh, we've done incredibly well, I believe, over the years. These are our main summer sports, water polo, cricket, swimming, tennis, squash, and in terms of winter sports, hockey, soccer, netball, tennis, and squash. We are playing our sports at A-levels uh, these days, which is very pleasing to see. Uh, our hockey, we play at the under 14A, under 16A and first team levels and our teams are in the top three, four in the region currently. Um, we go on all sorts of tours that's obviously in the non-COVID times and I know our students are all really looking forward uh, to inter-school sport, hopefully opening up in, in the not too distant future. Um, but certainly hockey, uh, a thriving sport at Merrifield both amongst our boys and girls. The same can be said of water polo. It really has taken off at our facility here. We offer at Merrifield. Uh, we have junior and senior teams, again, performing in the top three to four ranked uh, teams in um, East London. So A-League players, uh, we have some excellent coaches here. Luia Rabusha is a national men's coach uh, and uh, takes our, our various teams as well. Soccer, we play the various leagues and also host our own tournaments here at Merrifield. Netball, a growing sport as well at the junior and senior levels and uh, has resulted in us looking to put down four netball courts um, this year. Cricket is played at the junior and senior level, uh, both at Beacon Bay and on our campus. Tennis has really been one of our strengths over the years, uh, particularly amongst our boys. We host a Merrifield tournament at Selborne Park, where we've had schools like Gray, Pearson, uh, Selborne, St Andrews, Kingswood take part, and we've won that tournament on a number of occasions as well. Our students also travel to the Sun City uh, Private Schools tournament. Again, our boys have been uh, winners there three times, and our girls, as you see in the picture, were second there in 2019. In the beginning of 2020, they went on to win our local league for the very first time as well. So our girls tennis also uh, thriving now uh, at Merrifield. Squash, we play in the various leagues, have had really good border players uh, from emerge from Merrifield as well. Uh, swimming, we have some tremendous swimmers uh, over the years, uh, swimming at club level as well as uh, the school galas. And then a very strong surfing team as well. Uh, they're coached by Greg Emsley, international surfer himself. Uh, we have the current SA under 16 champion, champion in uh, Daniel Emsley, as well as the senior women's champion in uh, Zoe Stain. Some of the other sports on offer cross country. Our students also take part in inter-school horse riding events in regular non-COVID times. So certainly sport has come a long way at Merrifield and uh, continues to be on the up and up and uh, a real diverse offering that we have. Just as important as the sports side of things is the cultural uh, side of things and our community engagement projects. Um, and again, nice to see so much of this thriving at Merrifield. We have a large offering uh, in terms of music, drama, dance uh, and the arts. Our marimba band is very well known in East London, uh, performed uh, to acclaim in our, our Steadfords, 
and we usually go to Johannesburg for the International Marimba Festival, where we have won awards as well. Our um, jazz band has played at a variety of functions. We also have a string group and a wind ensemble group. Our choirs have done well at our Steadfords over the years and our vocal ensembles. And then drama has really taken off at Merrifield, now being offered as a subject uh, at the FET level, uh, starting at grade 10, moving through to matric. Uh, we run uh, school productions, both at the school and at the Guild Theatre and uh, really great to see drama thriving uh, in the college. Another real strength of ours is our debating and public speaking. We take part in a whole variety of competitions, have won uh, the, the local leagues, uh, we have Eastern Cape representatives and we have South African representatives as well. And we certainly wish Joanne Joseph and Vijay uh, uh, Puja, Puja Vijay uh, all the very best in their uh, international event coming up, the World Individual Debating and Public Speaking Competition, uh, which I think is going to be a virtual event this year, they representing South Africa. Enviro Clubs are very important at Merrifield, and as I mentioned, environmental awareness across the board is vital to us. There are a whole range of uh, interesting projects taking place, uh, clearing the water ice sign uh, in the Nahoon River and uh, even have linked up with a project with Rhodes University introducing insects that will eat away at the water hyacinth uh, and this is a control project that we are in collaboration with Rhodes University. But as I say we are part of the Eco Schools movement, we have achieved platinum status and also part of the Green Schools project looking at alternative uh, energy technologies to introduce at the school, but a key component of our school, um, our green focus. Then we do run the President's Award. Uh, this brings together leadership skills, endurance, uh, community projects and engagement uh, elements into this President's Award. Uh, there's the gold, there's the silver and the, the bronze levels which our students take part in uh, and a lot of value in that President's Award. We have peer counsellors, peer promoters, um, the blood blank as well. And then a very, very important element of Merrifield are our community service projects. Um, as you'll see, we have strong links with our non Pumalelo schools, the primary schools, Sinan Pumalelo, and the high school, Sakikamba. Uh, here we have an English literacy project as well as a computer literacy project that our students run. And uh, certainly our students gain as much as they give in these projects. And I know they're itching to get back to uh, being involved in these uh, outreach projects. And so that is Merrifield. And I hope you get a really good feel for who we are. Uh, I do believe it's an invigorating place. There are really strong relations, uh, as you can see here, between our, our staff and our students that develop over the years. And it's really the passion and the optimism and the skills that are brought by our teachers that I think take our school to a whole nother level as well. Uh, we really have uh, very skilled, very passionate teachers who, who love their job and uh, really uh, develop strong, lasting relations with our students. And so you can get a feel for, for the, uh, the ethos and, and I think the vibe at the school here. Uh, we are a busy place. Uh, it's great to be uh, a thriving, flourishing, uh, invigorating place. And uh, we are getting back to those extramurals now, which is exciting again. And hopefully those inter-school uh, matches will open up soon as well. Um, just for a further um, feel and uh, of our ethos and atmosphere, there is another video that I hope you'll view with clips, uh, video clips that give you a window into Merrifield and I hope you'll view those as well. There's also a video uh, of two of our students, uh, a grade 12 student and a, a new grade eight student to give you very different perspectives on the school. Someone who's been here a long time, another person who's only been here just a few weeks. Uh, but I think it'll give you, again, a good feel for uh, what happens uh, at Merrifield. At the end of the day, I do believe that we have genuinely happy students at Merrifield. Uh, they grow in all sorts of ways over their time here and develop into mature uh, young adults 
who I really believe are, are well grounded and 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 well uh, versed for for life and and for their university careers. Uh, that's the kind of students uh, we see emerge out of Maryfield. So at the end of the day, we really look forward to meeting you. And uh, I'd like to just, uh, this is our SRC here, welcoming you uh, to our school. And uh, hopefully it won't be too far down the road when the, those masks uh, do get removed. But of course, they play an important role in keeping us all safe at this stage uh, of our, our, our current uh, history. But just to leave you with this last thought and uh, in conclusion, I'd just like you to think about this. And that's the fact that, in my view, there's no perfect school. Uh, there are schools with strengths and weaknesses. And I, I think one ne really needs to be thinking about what is the right fit at the end of the day for your child? What are your child's strengths uh, and, and interests? And how does that relate to what a school offers? And I'd really like you uh, to think about that as you choose a school going forward, uh, what is the best fit uh, for your child uh, in relation to the schools you are considering. So I do wish you well with that choice. It's obviously an important one. Uh, we hope to receive an application from you. And uh, yeah, we certainly look forward to meeting you in time. Um, I trust you've been able to be well informed, to have a comprehensive overview of the, our school. And um, thank you for, for listening in and thank you for your interest in Maryfield. Thanks very much.